Hi there! In today's video, we're gonna be creating this amazing cover slide in PowerPoint. I'll show you how you can create this nice brush stroke effect. And before we begin, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and don't forget to hit the like button. And let's head over to PowerPoint. Create a new presentation. Go ahead and delete these default text boxes. And set the background color to light gray. Now to create a brush stroke effect, so we would need to use a font that mimics brush strokes. I'll be using a free font which I downloaded from fontsfree.net. I'll leave a link in the description section down below. Or you can use any similar font. Now we need to find a character that would look like a single brush stroke and that character would be the letter I. So I'll go ahead and grab the text box and just type in the capital I and apply the font and the biggest font size available. In my case it's 96 and it's still a bit too small for a brush stroke so let me just type in a particular value. 300 is still small, let's try 500. That will do. Now we need to convert this character into a shape and the quickest way to do so is to create a new rectangle that covers the character. Then open up the selection pane and select both shapes. Now I'll open up the Merge Shapes drop-down and select the Fragment option. This will sort of punch out the shape. And all is left to do now is to just remove the pieces we don't need. Or actually I can grab the shape and move it to the side. And then just select all the remaining pieces and hit the Delete button. So now we have a perfect brush stroke. We can now make copies of that shape, change their sizes, rotate them and place them on top of each other. I'll speed up the video and quickly do this. Now let's select all shapes, switch to the shape format tab and in the merge shapes tool select union. Now let's insert an image inside the shape. To do that with the shape still selected, first of all let's get rid of the outline by selecting no line option in the line section. Now I'll expand the fill section and select the picture or texture fill option. Click on the insert button. Find the image that you want to use and click insert. If you need to adjust the image a bit, change its size or move the visible area, just click on the picture format tab up here. Then select the crop tool. Now you have access to the original image. Let me move it a little bit to the side. This will do. And to apply the changes, just click anywhere on the slide. Now let's quickly add a nice title to this cover slide. I want my title to be inside the white frame and to create that frame I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool. Click anywhere on the slide to create a rectangular shape. Now change its size to 12 by 12 centimeters. In the format shape panel I'm gonna select no fill in the fill section. And in the line section make sure you have solid line option selected. Then choose white color in the color tool and set width to 11 points. Now let's set a drop shadow. Switch to the effects tab and open up the shadow panel and set the press it to bottom offset right. Now let's adjust the values. I'll set transparency to 92%, blur to 7 points, angle to 27 degrees and distance to 20 points. Now rotate this shape a bit. All is left now is to add some text. And 
and I'm gonna add a drop shadow to the text as well. I hope this video was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one, bye!